thanks for choosing to watch the video in this one we are tench fishing again uh, it's the lake that i did the cruising video on but this time i'm really sort of like targeting the tench if we do pick up a cruisin then great but i'm i'm here to fish for the tench i'm doing it with flatbed feeders um what it's been a funny session so far um it's it's about nine o'clock in the morning uh, i actually got down here last night um with the intention of you know this is about an hour's drive from home so i decided i wanted to fish the first light i didn't want to have to come around the m25 at about half three in the morning so what i decided to do was travel down here uh, during the evening yesterday um, i did do a little bit of fishing um, just before it got dark and maybe an hour into dark and i did actually pick up a couple of tench a few tench actually uh, so um, yeah that, that was great you know didn't expect that so quickly around about 11 o'clock I decided to just reel the rods in and get some rest because I sort of was anticipating a really good sort of like dawn you know some 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 really good action first thing and through the day but having gone to all that effort this morning has, hasn't really been that prolific it's been a bit weird actually had a couple of little um, indications like pickups and then I lost a fish, unfortunately, on my right hand rod to a hook pull. I made some slight tweaks to the rig, I increased the size of the hook to a size 14. I was going quite light. I'll take you through the rigs in a bit. Um, and yeah, I've just had the first fish. Cheers, mate. Oh, well, it's... That's it, flew off. There we go. It's been quite tricky this morning, actually. Um, lots of little knocks and little lifts um, that didn't develop into bites. And then, um, then I managed to lose one. So I made some tiny rig adjustments. We've just had this lovely tench. <laughs> that would be good. It is a fuck off cruising. It is a cruising. Yeah. Oh no, no. Yeah. Shows what I know. It's not as big as the other one, but it's beautiful still. Very cold. Yeah. I've been getting quite a few finicky little bites on the indicators. I thought it might be cruisings getting away with it, and I think it probably was. Because I've now managed to bank this one. Stunning little cruising carp just taken on um, one of the one of the bandon pellets I'm gonna get him back so things are going okay I'm in some tench and just add that really nice cruising um, like I said before, I'm using flatbed feeders on both rods. I'll take you through the rigs in a, in a bit. The only difference between each rod is one, I am using the Enterprise fake corn, and on the other one, I am using these Bandom wafters. Other than that, rigs are pretty much identical. Flatbed feeder, short hook length, and I'll take you through those rigs now. Okay, so let's quickly just go through the rigs um, I have got quite a soft rod it's worth saying that I've got the trilogy with the 1.5 tip so quite a soft rod so I'm using quite small hooks uh, relatively light lines or I were I've stepped that up a bit now but you know um, if you're using quite delicate tackle then you need quite a soft rod to make sure that um, you're not pulling hooks or snapping line and stuff like that so um, I have got a trilogy rod. I have got an eight pound main line, and that is coming down to one of the Corum flatbed feeders. These feeders, they actually come in a pack with a quick change bead that you can see there. What I started with was a four inch length of fluorocarbon. 
Now, um, that's in six pound, or was in six pound. Uh, that was fine here a few months ago. It's not now, the weed has come up. I lost a tench um, because I didn't have the right tackle on, which I'm a little bit gutted about. So I've stepped that up now. I've got eight pound smoke screen on there now, which is mono. I've got a size 14 hook, like a wide gate, fairly um, thick wire hook. So whilst it's small, it's quite strong. I've got a pellet band on there and I've got an eight millimeter bandum wafter. Like I said, I'm fishing both rods exactly the same. The only difference is that on this rod, I'm using the bandum wafters. On the other one, I've hair rigged on some fake corn. There's another one, a tiny, tiny little tinker, this one. Look, look at my hand. There's the band and pellet. Stunning little fish. We won't bother getting the camera out for him, but what a stunning little fish. I'll slip him back. Onto the feeder, I am just putting on this, which is the Power Scopex ground bait. In there, I've got two millimeter krill pellets um, and two millimeter feed pellets and um, <clears throat> just a little bit of water. They don't take long to then bind onto my flatbed feeder really nicely. What I'm doing, as I've done in previous videos, is that I'm packing this quite loosely onto the feeder um, for a few casts and I'm, I'm clipping up the important thing to get really accurate hitting the same spot as I say first couple of times I load the feeder it's really loose I'm not even leaving it out there I'm putting it out almost using it like a spod a few times on the third or fourth time I'm actually packing it onto the feeder much more tightly because that's the one that I'm going to leave out there for a while and hopefully that will be the one that will get me the bite that I'm after. This is quite tricky, actually. Um, I'm, I'm, I had it in my mind that I'm here really, you know, flatbed feeder fishing for the tench. That's kind of what I was after, but I've been trying to fish a rig that's delicate enough to pick up the cruising carp um, if they come along, um, and they have. Uh, a bank of weed has come out up about three quarters of the way across the lake and um, whereas a six pound hook length or even a four pound hook length last time I was here was adequate, now it's not. Uh, I lost a, uh, a decent tench, uh, just couldn't get it out of the weed with a six pound hook length. Uh, I'm not into snapping up on fish, I absolutely hate it. So straight away I've stepped things up. I've stepped it up to um, eight pound now. I've got the eight pound mono um, smoke screen for a hook length. Uh, I've pushed the hook size up as well. I think that's what you've got to do. Even if it means that I cut, I'm not going to get um, the cruisions. I think, you know, I've got to gear up for, for the environment in which I'm fishing. Uh, I, 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 my intention was to fish for the tench. So now I've, I've put on the kind of rigs that you'd expect to, to just be fishing for tench uh, with, regardless of whether there were cruisions in there or not. I mean, there's still every chance that, that I could get a cruising carp on, on that eight pan hook thing. That, that could still happen. I lost my concentration. It is a cruising and I lost my concentration. Fucking you know, hell, right? Oh shit! Yeah, she goes! Oh, mate, I'm <sighs> so, came here today to mainly target the tench. It's my second one of these lovely little fellas. Stunning. Love these fish. Nice little high backed cruising. Uh, the rigs I'm using aren't so. Uh, you know they're delicate enough to pick pick these fish up uh, i have had to step them up a little bit to make sure that they can handle the tench as well uh, but yeah just love these i'll put him back
What was interesting there is that lovely little cruise, and that was on the eight pound hook length. So, you know, I stepped things up to make sure that I can land the tench. Uh, nice to know that hasn't stopped me picking up the cruise and carp if they come along. Um, so, yeah, yeah, pleased, pleased about that. Uh, and it just goes to show, um, I know a lot of people think you have to be super, super delicate for the cruisians, but there, you know, I was fishing a 16 hook, now fishing a 14. Uh, on my last visit, as I say, I went right down to four pound line. This time I stepped right up to eight pound line and I'm still getting cruisians. Um, I might not get as many, but I'd rather not get as many cruisian carp, but not lose as many tench. So we're coming to the end of what's been a pretty slow afternoon, actually. Um, we had those few fish this morning. Uh, had a cut of tension, a cut of corrosions, which was great. Um, but this afternoon, uh, as much as I've tried, we've not been able to get uh, another fish. We're coming up for about half past five now, and it does seem like they're just starting to spring into life. Um, seen a couple of fish moving. And in fact, just had a take on my left hand rod, which unfortunately dropped off. So um, yeah, fingers crossed as we go into the evening, I think uh, each time I've come here, to be honest, it's been quite um, quiet during the afternoon, good in the morning, sort of fairly quiet through the middle of the day, and then sort of come into life uh, 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 through the evening, you know, as is often the way. <laughs> Not exactly what we're after, uh, but he is pretty cute. Uh, I'll put him back and let's hope that something a bit bigger than that turns up this evening. He'll tire out in a minute. Yeah, well I'm done. <laughs> and here we go, hadn't long slipped that lovely cruisin back and the rod tore off. And we got ourselves a lovely little tench. So not massive, had bigger ones than this last night, uh, but all welcome, slipping back, see if we can get one or two more before it's time to go. this rod out uh, as you probably know one of the most important things with feeder fishing is hitting the spot each time you've got to hit the clip this one's clipped up and there we go heard it hit the clip and that's making sure that the feed keeps going in exactly the same place uh, each time I cast, which is really important. The last thing you want is bait dotted all around the swim. You're hitting the clip and making sure that it's falling in the same place each time. And you can do that. People do it with distance sticks. People do it with bits of elastic. I generally tend to pace it out along the bank. Whatever way you want to do it, doesn't matter. Just make sure that you're hitting the same spot every single cast.
kind of hoping this was going to be a tench video, but the crusions of definitely stealing the show. Uh, as I said before, I've upped the weight of the hook length and I've, I've made the hook slightly bigger, but these fish are still coming in. They're still taking the bait. I'm not going to complain. I mean, look at him. What a stunning, stunning fish. Um, yeah, I'm going to going to get him back. It's still early evening, so there still is a chance of some more. A really, really nice cruising. Oh, look at that. What a fish. So after a very quiet afternoon, I've now had a flurry of fish. This is three, I had that cruise and a small tench, a couple, another tiny tench, and then this one. It really is kicking off now, which is fantastic. Getting back, get the feeders out. Might be time for another. There we go keep coming there's another one not going to get the big camera out i'm just getting back well as you might be able to tell it's now getting dark uh i think uh you know it's been absolutely crazy towards the end there i'm really happy with what i caught and i think it's probably now just time to hit the motorway and get home So that was so crazy towards the end of that session, I wasn't even able to do a proper outro. So uh, thanks as always for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, then please remember to like and subscribe and all that stuff. In terms of what's coming next, I've been out in the river, I've been doing a lot of trotting um, with floats and I've caught some cracking chub and barbel. Definitely look forward to bringing that to you quite soon. And of course, we're now going into um, autumn, late autumn, and my mind has already started to switch to perch. Um, I've not started fishing for them quite yet, but I am doing all my prep. I've got you know, some new rods and reels and some fantastic lures to um, uh, have a go with. So definitely, definitely looking forward to sharing that with you soon. But that's it for now. Until the next video, look after yourselves, be lucky.